of the Digimon community. You are some of the people of all time, I tell you. You know, whenever I'm sitting in front of the camera, right, I'm making videos, I'm talking to the camera, getting ready to say and do things, you know, I'll think about what I say before I say it. You know, I'll think about the things that I type on the keyboard or, you know, speak out of my mouth using my vocal cords before actually doing anything. Uh, I have hit record. I have talked to this camera plenty of times, especially the last two weeks, actually, a lot of that, where I just don't use it at all. I don't upload it at all. I just think to myself, no, this is a little bit too much, or no, this is not the time for this video right now, or maybe I'll come back to it if I can be a little bit nicer about the subject, or something like that. The point of the story is, I do my best not to spew random garbage and disinformation. There are a lot of people right now, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, that are saying Beelzebub is the new tier zero. Oh, it got 50% of the top 16 at the regionals. It has to be tier zero. No. No. Before I get into my points here, let me know in the comments. Do you honestly think Beelzebub is tier zero? Or do you think it's just a really good tier one deck? Let me know. Because I'll agree with you that Beelzebub is tier one. I'll even agree with you that it's the best deck of the format. And I'll even go as far as to agree and say this might be one of the best decks of Digimon of all time. It just might be. However, saying it is tier zero is so far from the truth, uh, I, I can't even throw a ball and like land it over there. You know what I mean? That's just unhinged and untrue. Think about tier zero in other card games like Yu-Gi-Oh, where 26 out of top 32 is the same deck, or... 31 out of 32 is the same deck. You know what I mean? Half of a top 16, not a big deal. It's okay. Um, Bielsemann is very powerful. It's really unfair. And it's a deck that isn't too complicated. Like, I was noticing that people playing Bielsemann and doing well with Bielsemann, or, or well for them, they were doing better than ever before uh, with Bielsemann because it's just inherently strong. Um, the better Bielsemann players will usually do better. But you all could also just, you know, run into a Riles Barrage in security and ruin your day. I'm sorry if that happened to anyone in particular at the regionals. But, you know what I mean? A little bit of luck and a little bit of skill when it comes to reactionary timing, depending on mills and draws on evolution and all that. And boom, baked, baked in the oven, done. The cake is finished and then I have a tier one deck and you can pilot it well enough. It's not complicated to the point like Lilith Loop where it's unplayable unless you're on Adderall. So I don't think that Beelzebub is tier zero. No, not even close. Sure, it's very entry friendly. It's not even that expensive compared to other card games. And you can play it and you can do well. But there are counters. There are ways to beat it efficiently, effectively. And I feel like by the time the next few events happen in the regional format, it won't matter. Like, Beelzebub will have less representation, less representation probably, and everything will be fine. So, everyone can let go of the pitchforks, put out the flames. It's okay. It's not a big deal. And hell, for the sake of just entertaining the thought, if it was tier zero, well, the way Bandai's thing is set up, we're doing month by month formats, if you think about it. We're doing the regional format now. June is Ultimate Cup. July is EX. And then end of June to like mid-July or whatever is EX4. And then we'll get freaking BT13 for a month or so. Then we'll get the next Ultimate Cups after that. You know what I mean? So even if it was Tier 0, even if, don't complain. It's only a few events. Because Bandai's only given us a few events. Let's be honest. It's not like we have multiple regions every week like Yu-Gi-Oh! has or something. No. Stop, stop whining, please. That's okay. We can whine about that a different day, but as far as Beelzemon goes, guys, it's okay. And I'm speaking as a Beelzemon enthusiast. I love Beelzemon. Like, it's the Light Swarns of Digimon. And in Yu-Gi-Oh, Light Swarns are best deck. So, obviously, that means Beelzemon is best deck. I'm a big fan. I love Beelzemon. I love playing Beelzemon. And I already have my build for Ultimate Cup ready, because that's coming soon. So, it's fine. It's okay. But it's not Tier Zero. So please, 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 please stop your whining, stop your complaining, 
everything is going to be okay. Before you know it, this format's going to be over, and we'll be back to complaining about a new Tier 1 deck, probably. <laughs> um, and yes, Bielzemon might even be good in the e EX4, and yes, it might even be good in BT13. Doesn't mean it's Tier 0, guys. I think we can all settle down a little bit, huh?